Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be eating Wendy's. We, this is me. Oh, we. Anyways, we're gonna be eating Wendy's. Um, I got me a chili. Their chili is the bomb. Um, I used to work at Wendy's actually. So yeah, I used to make the chili. But yeah, their chili is so good. And it has cheese and onions. I don't want to spill it. I got the bacon egg fries, which are a little bit cold. And I got a junior bacon, the big junior bacon, giant junior bacon, which is like a regular junior bacon but with two patties. It has cheese, bacon, just um, mayonnaise, tomato, and lettuce. I'm going to look so red in this video because this wall back here is like making me super red. Anyways, and I got the double stack, uh, which is not what I asked for, but it's a double cheeseburger, but it's okay. We gonna eat anyways, you know. Let me see if I can find a better angle. I know, wait for this not to look so orange, I'm gonna go back. Okay, so I don't think there's anything I can do about the color. I think it improved a little bit. But anyways, I am like super starving. Because I only ate. Oh, there we go. Red again. Um, I only ate once today, like around 11. No, it was like 12. Mmm. These bacon air fries are good. Oh! And to drink, I got strawberry lemonade. Their strawberry lemonade is so good. Anyways. Oh my god, these are so good. Time for that lipstick to come off. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I worked at Wendy's for two years, um, when I was like 16, yeah, 16. Oh my god. Oh, somebody just jar dropped a jar. They're driving away and they had the jar on top of their car and it just splattered all over the place. Anyways, I don't know where I left off, but yeah, I used to work at Wendy's for two years. Um, these bacon and fries are good. I got a strawberry lemonade, I don't know if I already mentioned that. Let's get a bite of this junior bacon. What is it called? Giant. I think it's called giant junior bacon. I'm not sure. Mm. Anyways. So. When I used to work there, there was like this area manager lady that was like, you know, manager of all the Wendy's. She wouldn't like work there. She would only like pop in once in a while. And this was like 12 or I mean, 10 or 11, no, like 11 or 12 years ago. And work to get to there from where I lived was far. It was like a good 25 minute drive without traffic. Like here where I live, we don't have traffic. So it was really far. So then this lady 
from the area manager. She would <clears throat> she would pop in once in a while. Everybody hated her. Like we could not stand her when we would hear she was gonna come over, we were like, oh because she was a bee. The bacon is so crispy. You can hear a beeping noise because there's like a truck stop across the street and they're trying to park a car. Anyway, so when I got this stack, I thought it came with like Thousand Island sauce and just lettuce and meat and no, they made it way wrong, so. Burger's a burger though. Anyways, so this lady, I would like work at the drive through window, like in the back office. Not back office, like the first window that collects the money, then you go to the next one. I would take the orders. And she would like stand behind me and listen, listen to me because she wanted to see how I was with people, I guess. And then I would say, welcome to Wendy's, how can I help? No, I say, I would just say order when you're ready, when like somebody would, would pull up to the window. And she didn't like that. She was standing behind me once and she pissed me off because she mocked, like she copied me. She was like, order when you're ready, like, and she goes, what's that? You know, you need to be more happy. Anyways, <clears throat> well, every time she would up, she would like go visit the property, she would always tell me something that she didn't like. And anyways, the point is that she knew I didn't like her. I could tell she didn't like me. So what did she do? Cut my schedule from like three days a week. I was working like five days and it went down to three. She cut me down to one day, and I told her how far it was from my house. She didn't care. She wanted to get rid of me, and she did. I quit because I was like, I'm not going to drive all that way for one day. And when I get my paycheck, use it for gas. You know what I mean? Like, that was stupid. Well, anyways. So I go to Wendy's today. <clears throat> oh, that shit just flew. You guess who I saw serving the fries? Yes. That same lady. Finish the fries. I'm gonna add cheese and crackers to this chili, but since it's so full, I need to eat a little bit first or else it's gonna spill out. But anyways, yeah, she was there. I don't think she saw me. I had a big order because I left early to get food for like my husband and the kids and my mom. I'm gonna heat this up so I'll be right back. <sighs> Alrighty, I'm back. So she was working there and the guy that took my order, he wasn't like the most friendliest outgoing person in the world. Like he's those people that have like have no personality. And you know, I was like, I ordered the first part and then I wait so that they can say, you know, is that it or whatever. And you know, I wait a little bit and then I'm like, and can I get a, um, a spicy chicken? And he goes, whoa. No, <laughs> how do you do it? He goes, whoa, hold on a second. I was like, all right, first of all, I didn't go that fast, dude. I only ordered one thing. But anyways, so I pulled up to the window and he was like, his face was like, your total is going to be 
25 something. I'm like, all right. So then I was like, I'm gonna recheck the order because he seemed kind of slow. Like he talked slow, like, um, is there anything else? So he charged me. And then I'm looking at the lady and she's in the back all sweating with her headset on. And I'm thinking, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be home sleeping? Like, and she didn't even look at me, nothing. So anyways, so then I look at the receipt. Sure enough, he forgot like three things. And I told him, um, you forgot this, you forgot that, and you forgot that. And he's like, oh. And then he just goes back. Like he was not even friendly at all. I'm thinking, biatch. You could be down in one day, like, why ain't you telling him nothing? Why ain't you standing behind him listening to what he's saying? You know what I mean? Mm. Cheesy. Okay, now I can put my crackers in there. These crackers are here. Anyways. So then, that was that. He gave me my food. Sure enough, I parked to make sure that they gave me everything. And yeah, they got the order right. But yeah. Working at Wendy's, there was this lady. Like an older lady. She was kind of big. She looked like... I don't know how to describe her. She reminded me of someone. You know, she had like curly white hair. And she was like this, she had like no neck. She was very racist. Whenever a Hispanic person would help her, cause it was me, this friend, they used to live with us and my older brother. And um, whenever one of us would help her, she would like roll up to the window and then she'd look at us and she would put like the visor or the sun shield, whatever thing in the car. She would put it down and like out by the window to cover her face and she wouldn't look at it. She'd be like this. Like, and when it was like somebody that was not colored, she would talk to them and everything. But then as soon as she would pull up the window and see like one of us colored people, she would put the thing down and like flip it out and then just cover her face. She didn't even want to look at us. Like that's how racist she was. So then when she started like showing up, I would like purposely be like really nice to her. Like, how you doing, ma'am? How's it going? How's your day? And she'd be like this. Facing that way and I'm over here. She would ignore me. All right, mommy, have a nice day. <laughs> and then she would like leave. Or like, I would like purposely tell the person, don't give her the food. I want to go back there and give her the food. So she would have to see me twice. <laughs> so I would like run back there, grab the food and open the window. Oh, hi, ma'am, nice to see you again. <laughs> she would be pissed. Like her face would get like red. She was so mad. And I'd be like, you enjoy your food. We made it with lots of love. Just because, you know, she was a biatch. She, like, she was so racist. And we knew for a fact that it was because of our skin color. Because we would, like, test her out. And I'd be like, all right, you go give it to her and talk to her and see if she talks to you. Oh, yeah. If it was, like, a Caucasian person. And they would talk to her and she would smile and talk back and then if somebody would like roll up around like behind the other person she would just look at us and she'd go like with her mad face again oh hi ma'am it's me again <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> but yeah that's funny you know sometimes when there's like hateful people, racist people. All you gotta do is just laugh about it. Because they're miserable. You know what I mean? There's something wrong in their life. And you just gotta like feel kind of bad for them, you know? <sighs> they gave me harbor. I like lots of crackers.
<coughs> so, how are you guys liking my videos? I cannot even taste a tomato in this. Everything is like so loud. I've been asked <clears throat> if I'm scared to work at a motel at night. Truth is, sorry, my big, enormous, giant hand keeps getting in the way. I've been here 11 years. No, I'm not scared. I'm not gonna lie. I have been scared to wear almost like crap in my pants. Sorry, that sounds nasty, but. You guys wanna hear motel stories? So one time at band camp, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <clears throat> one time that I was like really scared, this Hispanic guy comes in and he's like wearing jeans and a black jacket. He walks in, I was just like around this time, I went about myself. He walks in, and then I said, good evening, or hello, or something. And he just looked at me and he said hi. But he wouldn't say nothing, that was it. <clears throat> He's like, do you have a charger? And I'm like, uh what kind of phone you have and then he takes out a phone and when he takes out his phone to show me his hand right here was bleeding like a lot like he had punched something i don't know he was bleeding a lot and i cannot see blood it makes me want to throw up oh just thinking about it here ain't meaning talking about blood anyways and i was like good lord what happened and he was just acting really suspicious. So then I gave him a charger. You know, when I see somebody like that, I try not to be mean to them because I'm like, what if they're really like, if have bad intentions and I'm being mean, like it's gonna make it worse and they're gonna wanna kill me or something. Um, So I tried to be normal, try to play cool, try to play cool, even though I was panicking inside. I tell him, you can connect your phone over there. Hmm. One in that corner. So he does. He connects it and he starts looking at his phone. And he starts crying. Just bawling. Like, and I was like, I was like, um, sir, I didn't, I don't think I said anything. I was just standing here like, and my heart started racing. Like, what the hell's going on? Like, did he kill somebody? And that's why his hand has blood and he's feeling guilty. Like, oh my God, what I do? And he started crying like here. I don't know. So I said, are you okay? And then he goes, yeah. He's like, do you have like a napkin or something? We're talking in Spanish. I said, you have a napkin or something, you know, so I can clean my hand? And I was like, si, senor, I'll be right back. <laughs> like, I was so scared. And then I came back out and I gave him the paper, you know. I think I gave him bandages, something. And then he would like go back to the corner and he start crying again, like, and then 
he will start getting like mad and I'm like oh my god he's gonna go crazy and he's gonna kill me he's gonna kill me too right here oh and he had his hands one of his hands in his pocket and he kept moving and I'm like he's gonna shoot my ass he's gonna bring out a gun he's gonna shoot me so then I told him um sir I'll be right back I need to go to the bathroom he's like okay and I ran back there and I locked this door behind me took my cell phone and I called the cops I've called the cops many times <laughs> when I called they're like what's up beauty what's going on I'm just kidding <laughs> they don't know me by name <laughs> but that would be funny Domino's knows me by name but anyways so then, sorry, I'm taking out the pickles. I don't like pickles most of the time. I'll call 911. 911, what's your emergency? Help! Help me, please! Help me, please! I'm going to die. I'm whispering and I'm like, there's this guy I'm calling from, we know here, and what's all I work at? My name is Yuri, oh my god, and there's this guy in here, and like I tell them, there's this guy in here, he's bleeding, he's creeping me the hell out. My tongue started getting numb from how scared I was. So right away they ask, what does he look like? How old is he? What's his race? What is he wearing? I tell them all that. The lady's like, stay on the phone, and I'm going to have to send somebody over there. I'm going to send a cop over. I'm like, all right. <sighs> She's like, stay where you are. Like, don't come out. Because she heard how I was freaking out. But I played it cool in front of the guy. I was like, huh. Oh, yes. Yes. I'll be right back, sir. So anyways. And then I guess the police officer or whoever called her and told her that he, they were already here. So they're like, can you poke your head out? Because it... The officer says that they arrived and I'm like oh my god but what if they haven't and then I hear the door open we have like, I hear the door open and we have like a little bell and I hear a man's voice say sir what's your name or what are you doing I don't know what he asked and I was like okay that's the cop so I poke my head out there and are out here <clears throat> yes my little head was poking right there like and then I told the lady on the phone, all right, they're here. You know, I feel better now. And she's like, all right, you know, anything else, let us know. I'm like, all right. So I come out here all tough. Because <laughs> the cop was already here. And they're like talking to him. They're kicking him out. He refuses to leave. He's like, I don't have to leave. He's like, yeah, you do. We've been getting complaints about you all night. And I was like, oh. So this ain't the first place he's been to. And the officer's like, you gotta go. Took him outside. Finally, the guy left. I didn't see him anymore. But yeah. I was so scared. And I'm thinking, he's gonna come back. And he's gonna be pissed because I called the cops on him. But he didn't, he never showed up, so we were good. Anyways, I am so stuffed. I've been like trying to eat this, but I really, I feel like my stomach's about to explode. And I still have some of this chili. I'm probably gonna save the chili. Chili, this chili is always good. But even if it gets cold and you reheat it, like it's even better because it gets thicker. But. I just, I can't. Plus, the cheeseburger is not what I wanted, so I'm kind of eating it like a... That'll be it for this video. Um, I know I don't get a lot of comments on here still, but if you come across this video and you want to leave a comment, if you want to see me eat something like that you have on in your, or that you have 
in mind um let me know i would really love suggestions you know but yeah so i will see you in my next video subscribe if you haven't already and i hope you have a good day and i will see you in my next one bye